Oh, he's made it. And he couldn't make the pass on set point. Oh, he's made it. Well, rather lucky. Oh, there's some points to seal the opening set. Magnificent. Uh, Tuesday, uh, last Tuesday was actually my first time ever hitting on a grass court. Um, any type of play, I'd, I'd never even stepped on one before. Um, so that was, you know, my first day uh, on a grass court. Uh, and then yesterday I played my first, you know, qualifying doubles match. So starting to get the hang of it a little bit. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to the grass season. Oh, well, yes, land safely there for Shelton. Just able to control that one. It's not easy change in direction. He's there to put it away. He's not done yet here. Well, he's a really nice player. You know, he uh, he's the ball. You know, I've honestly, I've never played against someone uh, that uh, hit the ball as hard as, as uh, he he hit is uh, something crazy, you know. Some serves at uh, 235. He, he was honestly uh, almost broke my my string. So it's uh, his way. Let's
athleticism. It kind of came from my friends at the University of Florida, um, track and field athletes. That's kind of their signature celebration. Um, so a few of them kind of started it, and you know, I told them, you know, if I'm ever in a big moment in a big tournament, I'm going to do the same. So that was kind of a shout out to them when I did it uh, a couple matches in a row at, at the U.S. Open. That's nice. This time he's the one with the early strike. It's Shelton that continues to soar high in Shanghai. What a win for the American. He ends the unbeaten run on Chinese soil of Yannick Sinner. tournament so far amazing from both players but it's Shelton that stands tall and he's got a set points Didn't put it away. And he was made to pay for it. Well, you give this guy time on a running forehand. Oh, he's got him. Trying to take it on, Thompson, with a serve and volley. Well, we've seen it already in this set. Shelter getting around it nicely. Well, unbelievable pass. Let's recognize that. Still a significant upgrade on the days when we had no challenges. Remember, you just had to take that call for what it was. Ah, those were the days. It looked like it might have been wide from the neck on the line here. Well, this one also could have been that the lines person's line side a little bit as Thompson was trying to get past. Oh, it's close, though. Can only be a millimetre or two. <laughs> oh, what a get there from Ben Shelton, but Jordan Thompson did a good job of just staying alert. How has the American even got to this ball, let alone made it in the court, let alone got it below that? No, gonna use the arm. There he goes, gonna send it from the outfield. Nice elevation. He's giving that everything. Got to watch the shoulder. Yeah, he's getting some nice elevation. I bet he's getting some good distance as well. This guy's yeah. got a serious arm on him. Oh, dear. 
you have to put that down to a bit like this. that he can bring to the contest. Great control again from Shelton. Oh. Oh, it looked as if he'd given the game away there. Somehow just saves the point with a great reach. Little casual for me on that volley. Just sticks a racket out and gets his reward. Well, what a performance, but more with the heart and the fight that he showed than the. I've seen a big winner like this for a while or a reaction. This time he gets it done. he can get that first push back. A major milestone in the career of Ben Shelton. His first ATP Tour final. And you can be sure it won't be his last. A special moment in the 21-year-old's career. What a 2023 season he's having. It was hard fought this week, but he's managed to get through every obstacle, embracing the team, and there a hug from his dad. The fourth father-son duo to win ATP Tour titles. A week that he'll never forget, his first ATP Tour title. He spoke really well in the presentation.